Kidney stones can get anyone. Almost 12% of world population has kidney stones. It is more common among men than women. Commonly kidney stones are asymptomatic. But when they become symptomatic it can be very painful and very severe. Symptoms occur when stone that obstructs the ureter or renal pelvis. Intermittent pain that radiates from the flank to the groin or to the inner thigh. This pain, known as renal colic, is often described as one of the strongest pain sensations known. This pain sometimes is accompanied by urinary urgency, restlessness, hematuria, sweating, nausea, and vomiting. The pain lasting 20 to 60 minutes caused by peristaltic contractions of the ureter as it attempts to expel the stone. Now let's talk about composition of kidney stones. The most commonly kidney stone composed of calcium oxalate. Around 80% of cases. Some studies suggest that people who take calcium or vitamin D as a dietary supplement have a higher risk of developing of calcium kidney stones. Other risk factors include foods which contains very high level of oxalates. For example, avocados, dates, grapefruit, kiwi, orange, raspberries, spinach and tomato sauce. Another important stone type is struvite stone, composed of magnesium, ammonium and phosphate. It is also called the tripled stone. Struvite stones accounts around 10% of cases. Struvite crystals forms because of urinary tract infections, altering urinary pH in the setting of urease producing bacteria. Common pathogens include Proteus mirabilis, Klebsiella pneumonia, Enterobacter, and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Third type of stones are uric acid stones, which accounts 9%. Risk factor for uric acid stones are chronic diarrhea and gout. And fourth, cysteine stones, which accounts only 1% of kidney stones. Other risk factors for kidney stones include low fluid intake, history of diabetes, obesity, gout, and hypertension, history of prior kidney stones in personal or family history. Obesity due to poor dietary habits and lack of physical activity. Renal stone formation involves physicochemical changes and urine supersaturation. That's why nephrolithiasis is preventable by avoiding supersaturation. Complications If the stone becomes infected, patients may develop fever, chills, or other signs of worsening systemic signs of infection. Obstruction can occur and pyelonephritis with concurrent hydronephrosis can result. This situation can be severe and life-threatening, requiring emergency decompression surgery. Diagnosis Renal ultrasonography can sometimes be useful because it gives details about the presence of hydronephrosis, suggesting that the stone is blocking the outflow of urine. A cub, kidney ureter bladder, X-ray is also an option, however, uric acid stones are difficult to assess with this imaging. A computed tomography of the abdomen and pelvis without contrast can also be performed and has higher sensitivity. Treatment Kidney stones are extremely painful. Pain control is of utmost importance with NSAIDs by decreasing smooth muscle stimulation and ureteral spasm. Additionally, it is essential to increase fluid intake. Tamsulosin may also aid stone passage and also reduces smooth muscle stimulation. It is typically useful in those in the distal ureter and sizes between 5 to 10 millimeters. Stones greater than 6 millimeters are likely to require some intervention, including percutaneous nephrolithotomy, rigid and flexible ureteroscopy and shockwave lithotripsy.